Welcome back to Ape Escape. Today we actually start wrapping up stuff. Because we just Isn't have... what we've already done like the past three parts? I'm okay. We're doing the final stages, Edgy. We're doing the final stages. And these ones aren't... And these ones aren't as long. Like, I mean, there's still me wandering around looking for the monkeys. But it's like... Like, DV Tower takes like 30 seconds when I revisit it. <laughs> like, I'm dead serious. The only monkey I missed out in TV Tower is the was the one in that box near near right near the near the front door. This one I did miss a few more, especially considering how some of them I actually did need to uh, actually find stuff. Like I actually forgot about this monkey. To be fair, you're more likely to go into the castle. Into the yeah. castle. Also, this does not look like a comfortable jump to make. Yeah, it really doesn't, but you can safely make it. I know, but it's a, it's a kind of thing where you feel like you're you're going to fail at it, and because yeah, you're like you're going I to fail at it, jumps. you'll end up failing at it. I hate those jumps. That it's like, am, am I going it, it, to or not? Yeah, it, it, it's a kind of thing where you're going to struggle with it the first time, but then the second time you play, you're like, yeah, I can make this. And then you immediately fail. And, and, and then the third time you play it, it's, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm going to skip this part. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to think about it, but there's plenty of games out there where I, 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 I kind of, I think Crash Bandicoot might be one of those where I'm, where I'm a little bit too confident I can make a certain jump, but then you utterly fail it. Or, or maybe no, I, I know that with Mario Galaxy, I'm, I'm more like that. Like Mario Galaxy is one of those titles where. The long jump, it's, I don't know if I, if, if I could call it broken, but if you know how to use it, you can make, you can do some great stuff with it. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you're right. I mean, hell, I, I don't even think that Mario Galaxy 1 necessarily tells you about it. Like, I remember, I remember when I when I found that, I as a as a kid, I I felt so clever for like pushing the uh, nice pushing the Z button and jump button together when moving. I think it actually told you. No, Mario Galaxy 2 told you. Uh, Mario Galaxy 1, there, there were some jumps you that were kind of tricky, but there is one in particular I remember, and that was with a rabbit telling you to jump and shake the Wii remote. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, I, I could, I would glad you up, up, update you on it if I have like a replacement sensor bar for my computer, but I don't. <laughs> I, mean, I should probably just get a new one, but like thirteen bucks. Do you have any idea what I could get with that? Thirteen bucks and buy you many peanuts. Well, I was more thinking about Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> of which I could buy two. For if there's a sale going on, which is pretty damn likely because who the fuck is going to buy ice cream in October? Yeah. November, December. Well I actually was I actually was talking about this with my mom this morning. 
I just I've learned about um affogata, which is an Italian dessert, which is, um that's basically vanilla ice cream but with with espresso um poured onto it. Yeah, but you're forgetting one thing. What? Italy is like a really hot, a really warm country. Sure. Like I, I'm pretty sure that if I if I ask my watch what the temperature is right there. Um, it's going to be like at least double the amount of degrees on what I have here. So let's do that. <laughs> what is the weather in Italy? It's 11 degrees Celsius in Rome. Now, 11 degrees Celsius is not that um, is not that warm, but take into consideration that it's six degrees Celsius in here. 11 degrees Celsius is the kind of thing where you can walk outside with a with a thin jacket. Or, or sweatshirt. like a, a blazer. Hmm? It's been a sore sweatshirt. Yeah. It's not the kind where you feel like you're freezing. I mean I could convert it to Fahrenheit, but I'm kind of I'm kind of burned out on converting to Fahrenheit. Seventy-six. Okay. Is it seventy? Is it seventy-six? No, it's not seventy-six. You did it. Sixty-seven, maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's let, let's just let's just assume that, and what we're having here is like fifty. Yeah. The moments I wish I had my phone with me. Anyway, it looks like we're going back to Futurama. Dun, 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 dun. You, 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 you didn't let me. You didn't let me finish. We're, we're going back to Futurama, just, just like Disney. I mean, that's Hulu. Now, it's not really Fox. Oh, hold up, hold up. Really, it, it's... No, I, I thought it's... I thought it's Disney. No. It, it's because both series are Matt, are made by Matt Groening, so you would actually think, but no. Futurama, the new Futurama stuff's on Hulu. Well, it, it, it's on Hulu, but isn't it still Disney who's... who holds the... holds the keys to the mansion? Uh, hold on, I'm actually gonna look up who owns the rights to Futurama. I mean, I know, I know that the new season is on, is on Disney Plus, because they keep advertising it. I did also recently discover that apparently The Simpsons got a season 34, so... Yep. I should probably watch that. And also, I recently remembered how good of, um... How good, uh, good of an episode, uh, The Criticus. Uh, from The Simpsons? Oh, it, it is on, oh, okay. Oh, I guess it is on Disney Plus, okay. Huh? Well, uh, the, 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 the Critic, was that an episode of The Simpsons? Yep. No, yeah. It was basically, um, Jay, Jay Sherman, John Lovovitz. Lo Lo Basically voicing literally that the titular character from the critic coming to Springfield after he gets chased out because he insulted R R Wolfcastle. Yeah, the problem about watching like six hundred plus. You forget a lot of the this stuff. Is that you forget you forget a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, the critic is one of the best episodes ever. Bonnie, well, Bonnie, I would say Barney's movie had heart, but football in the groin had football in the groin. Oh, oh, that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew you probably Look, would the, remember the by the moment. 
Exploded the Barney you, with the moment, you, the, moment you, the moment you tell me Hans Bowman Productions presents Man, man Getting It By Football. football. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about it I remember. <laughs> because everyone loves it. Yeah. That's the winner. Give him the money. <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a good, uh, such a good episode. There's so much stuff to actually just, um, to just basically quote from it. Yeah. Like, no, I, I, I don't remember are they another... booing me? No, they're saying boo earns, boo earns. <laughs> are you saying boo? Or boo urns. Boo! I was saying boo urns. Yeah, I, I remember a similar episode, but instead of um, instead of uh, like the Springfield movie thing, it, it was um, it was an elementary school contest which uh, Lisa won, and then she uh, got en enrolled in a competition and. It was one where um, Skinner and Chalmers basically made their own uh, made their own movie company, and then it turned out they were actually having multiple um, movies they had produced. And then they had like they had like they had like a whole introduction going like Skin Chalms. <laughs> and I think it. Uh, there were a couple of extra episodes where they kept that as a running gag. And everyone, and the more, yeah. and the less people say about Principal and the Popper, the better. Yeah. Because no one likes Principal and the Popper. I mean, I know that there is a whole bunch of episodes that people aren't really that fond of. Okay, I so here's here's a question. Do you remember Homer versus Dignity? Yeah. Do you... Did, uh, do you think that's a bad episode? It wasn't an episode that I... Like, I wouldn't say it was one of those episodes where I'm like, yeah, I remember, I'm going, I'm going to remember this one fondly, but I... I wouldn't say it. It's like a, a bad episode. So the, honestly, apparently the general consensus is it's a bad episode, and it's like, really? I mean, I know, I know the panda part is basically, yeah, no, that's way too much. But it's like, there's a lot of stuff in that episode that's actually really good, like yeah. the fact that that Mr. Burns makes Homer throw Bunny Cup at Kenny at Lenny. Oh my I mean, eye! My doctor says I'm not supposed to get pudding in it! Okay, to be fair, the one episode of The Simpsons that I can actually recall where I was like, yeah, this one this one is bad, was the one where um, where Bart got in trouble for um, for kissing a girl supposedly against her will. And um, the the whole Or th th there was there was chemistry between them. But like Bart ended up kissing the, the girl based on what his grandfather advised him and it, it kind of spiraled out of control. The whole, yeah, it, and the whole the whole punchline of the episode was basically women, eh? Like that that episode I, I was not Yeah I was not I also did not like Homer Badman. Wasn't that the one where he threw pies in people's faces? No, that was the one where basically a, a random nameless babysitter uh, yeah, accused Homer of pinching her oh, butt. Oh, right, and right, And he was right, just right, trying to grab, right. a, grab a gummy Mona uh, Venus de Milo. And everyone Wait. automatically just believed her. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, I mean, that's... To, to, to be fair, like... He shouldn't have done that. He should have spoken it, up. Yeah, no. But it's like, the whole episode is just... It just feels really uncomfortable with how blame the victim... Uh, uh, believe the victim-y it was. 
Yeah, I mean to be fair, it's pretty. Um, Granted, that's also the same of, thing that happened in, in, between in terms, Johnny in terms of Depp and they never heard. In, I mean, look in, in terms of social commentary, like yeah, it, it's it's a kind of thing that could happen nowadays. You know, mm -hmm. home getting cancelled. Mm -hmm. But that's but that's also why I kind of feel like we shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, true. So what's your thoughts on the fact that they're not going to have Homer strangle Bart anymore? Um... Hard to say, because if I if I go like... They they should keep the tradition, it sounds like I'm trying to justify the strangulation. And if you're saying not, it's like, it feels like you're going, Oh hey, the, oh hey, I bow to woke overloads. Overlords. I mean, look. And it's the, like the whole the whole gag of Homer strangling Bart. It wasn't the kind of thing where I burst out of laughter every time it happened. I so think the, I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that I necessarily would miss it. I think at the, at the same, only time I it it was used for comedy was well, and it wasn't even used for comedy. The I think the time... Actually, yeah. I think what basically made me just eh, sh shrug it off more off more was after they did it in the um, Trials of Horror skit where Homer gets cursed by a gypsy. Yeah. And so basically when he does it, Bart's, Bart's neck just, gr just gets longer and longer. Oh yeah, I remember that. Me apologizing but, yeah, to her is not gonna help. Me apologizing, apologizing is not gonna bring Bart back. The gypsy said it would. She's not the boss of me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, it, 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 it's hard. It's hard to say. Like, I can understand why some people would be, you know, against it, or why some people would be like embrace tradition, but. To me, I I really wouldn't. I you really don't really care. It. Yeah, no, I'm with you. But then I say that having, and I I really need to be careful with how much I say about it. But I say that as somebody who had a past with violence against. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. And by and by that I should mention that I was the kid, not the not the adult. But yeah, no. What whatever. I don't know why I took okay, my. Now, now, okay, now okay. Now I can now now I can feel like I need to explain because otherwise people think that my parents are dickheads. So I, I'm I'm just going to say it like this. Um, it has nothing to do with my parents. Just someone who, one of my parents was with. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Yeah. So anyway, tits, right? <laughs> like you have, you have just want to smother your face between some moo moo milkers. <laughs> Damn it, Edgy! <laughs> oh my god, I, I gotta divert the card. I, I gotta steer the conversation. A yeah, but not way. In the same way that based of that doctored interview with Homer in Homer Batman. That basically makes it look more makes them look like a complete pervert. That that was the one that they that they cut in a certain way, right? Yeah, sweet candle. Yeah, yeah, it just made yeah. It look, and it's like that that type of thing was type of thing is like, good God, God, that episode was just uncomfortable as hell. I mean, the one thing I the one thing I find I found hilarious was that. Like, if, if the people from Springfield actually had a brain, they could just l look at the clock. I know that they put the clock in the background as a, as a gag, but it, it really does show how, like, wow, these people are selectively blind or deaf. That, yeah, and I, I do want to go on. I do apologize for how wonky that cut was. I did not mean to actually have loaded the stage in. I was actually meant to, I actually had gone, meant to load in, um... Load, load into the factory, the factory area, area itself. So that was my bad. Um, but yeah, it's like that. That's kind of the point, the plot point of a lot of Springfield episodes. Uh, episodes, though. Yeah, 
That's just the Springfielders are stupid and don't listen I mean, to, to common to be sense. I mean, to be fair, I I know that the show is like a comedy, but there's there's the thing. The thing what, is, it, why it's do really, you... it's really it's really weird how at one point a character can be really smart, but then when you put that character with the masses, he's like a, a total moron. Yeah. Like I I kind of feel like the only character who is consistently smart is Lisa, but then Flanders. I also feel like Flanders. Yeah, I, I would consider I would consider the writing for Flanders is kind of consens consistent. Because there's okay, never, yeah but, yeah. but I but I wouldn't consider Flanders to be one of the smart people of Springfield. He's still he's still way more consistent than a lot of the other other characters in the in the show. Yeah, but if you take a look at it from the religious angle, which don't get don't get me wrong, um, you can. You can believe what you want to believe, and I, I yeah, don't no, hold I agree. it against you. But don't force it onto people, and that's kind of the problem with Flanders. He's like, he's a character that I sort of like, but I didn't they only I, do that? Do, didn't they only do that thing once? Um, are you talking about the episode where they, um, where Homer and Marge lost their custody of Bart and Lisa? And no, Maggie? no, I'm talking about the one where, ba where, um, the drug running one, where basically to basically, um, Homer and Grandpa are basically just running some drugs. Um, no, Flanders, Flanders was in on that. Yeah, oh, yeah, wait, Flan no, yeah. No, 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 right, right, right. But the, but then uh, Apu was along. Yeah, Apu and... joined in and basically, yeah. And that got him arrested because of Flanders. Uh, ba well, it wasn't Flanders trying to do it, but basically it was basically a... Flanders offered him a coffee that was too way hot. Way too hot. And Apu, happened, Apu happened to be wearing something that looks like a terrorist getup. And, and he's just started he, trolling. He was he and was, he just started trolling from the heat. Yeah. I took another sip. I apologize to anyone who found... That event, that line offensive. I'm uh, that uh, action offensive. I'm, I actually did not mean to actually do that. I just kind of devolved into it. I'm sorry. I mean, to be fair, and I, I, I sort of make that joke a, a bunch of times as well. But I'm when I do it, it's more it's more of the um, Microsoft tech support kind of way. Yeah. Which I'm not going to mimic because. Yeah. I really don't want to be. In yeah, I already. Yeah, I already did it. I accidentally did it once. Once it. it once. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to be I, a, be I, offensive. I will, if it was. I will say though, I I do still find it weird how Apu basically at, at one point just stopped appearing, but they didn't do anything with it. Yeah, but it's like, because like, basically they, they thought people were upset at at uh, Hank Azaria doing the voice. No, I, I thought it was the voice actor just at one point. Yeah, it was Hank like, Azaria. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, but, it, but no, it was Hank Azaria that was doing a poo. Yeah, and he didn't want to do a poo anymore, a voice of poo anymore. Yeah, but then just, just at once the the character Apu just stopped appearing. Yeah. Like in in the case of Krabappel, I can understand that. Because yeah, because she yeah. Krup, Krup, she passed away. All of may a she sudden. may she rest in peace. Yeah. But but the least thing you can do it, it, is like, at least get a new voice actor. Well, okay, okay, no, but, like Krabappel dying because the voice actor died. That's something. Oh I God, can no, no, I'm not talking for Krabappel. I'm not uh, talking but, about Krabappel. But, uh, but Apu just disappearing without without a proper send off. Like that that's a thing, right? In in the context of of the Simpsons, and keep in mind I haven't watched episode I haven't watched uh, season thirty four yet, so if he appears in there, um Shush. Yeah, I haven't like, seen I don't remember the last season I watched. But like just to just have the character disappear without saying a word? Like what's his canonical state? Is he is he like still in Springfield? Does he still run the Quickie Mart? What about his eight children? Is he just going to abandon his eight children? I have to go now. My planet needs me. You are on your planet!